Tonight at 6, the most common cause of irregular heartbeat is atrial fibrillation, a potentially life-threatening condition. But doctors at Baptist Hospital are using a procedure that has the potential to cure it. We'll have that story coming up at 617. Working for you in the spirit of Arkansas, this is Channel 7 News at 6. Well, for many atrial fibrillation patients, their irregular heartbeat can be regulated with medication. Others need surgery to get their condition under control. Doctors at Baptist Heart Institute are using a procedure called the mini maze. We'll tell you how it works next. Atrial fibrillation affects more than 2.5 million Americans. Many of them live with a heart condition, but it can lead to life-threatening problems. In tonight's health check report, doctors at Baptist Hospital are using a cutting-edge surgery to potentially cure AFib. Leonard McMurray of Fayetteville had reached the point where he could no longer manage his irregular heartbeat, a condition called atrial fibrillation. Every time I go into uh, atrial fib, I didn't come out. I never came out. I had to be cardioverted every time. And to me, I felt horrible. They say that some people don't, but I was actually weak, you know, shaky. Uh, you, just, you just really couldn't do anything. Many AFib patients only have periodic episodes, and those can be treated without surgery, but Leonard needed a more permanent solution. As patients move into that arena, that persistent atrial fibrillation arena, their therapies become less effective and the surgeon's therapies become more effective and that's where I come in. Surgeon Eric Beyer used a minimally invasive procedure called the mini maze procedure that avoids open heart surgery and instead requires a small incision to freeze tissue and create ablation lines that resemble a maze in the atrium. The unique thing about this part is that we're able to do it through a very small incision uh, between your ribs uh, below uh, your pectoralis major muscle. And so the scar is very discreet and it's uh, small. We don't break any ribs. Recovery time is faster with less blood loss. And more importantly, for Leonard, it completely stopped his AFib. He's had no episodes since June and is completely off his medication. I'm good enough now to get me in trouble. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I've got enough energy now to do stuff that I'm not in shape to do. Our goal is, is to have these people come off their medicines and stay in normal rhythm. Well, you should ask your doctor if you're a candidate for the mini-maze procedure.